Hey everybody, welcome back to BK's Bullets. Today we're going to unbox this Batman black and white statue by Joe Mad. Check it out. Alright, let's open this puppy up. We're using a little wide angle lens because this box is huge. Um, I have not taken it out yet, but I did open it up and pre-cut all the uh, tape around the styrofoam just for ease of video. Here's the box. Now this apparently was based on a, here it is, um, the variant cover of Justice League Rebirth number one. I thought this originally was a um, original piece, like designed and not based on anything like Joe Madeira, uh, yeah, Maduria, I can't, <laughs> it's hard to say, so Joe Mad, that's why everyone calls him Joe Mad, uh, I was wondering if Joe Mad had just designed it from scratch and just kind of done like a 360, uh, version, the way that they did the older statues, but apparently everything nowadays is based on a piece of art, which isn't a bad thing necessarily, but, um, it's a little less special than I thought it was originally, but that's okay, because it's still, really really cool there's the fourth side anything on the bottom no numbering or anything like that okay so yeah this box is huge so to put this in perspective here is the box for the uh mark Silvestri one i unboxed more recently so side by side you know, top to bottom, this Joe Mad statue is, looks way wider than the other one. In fact, the box that they sent, DCBS sent this box in me <laughs> to me was so big, I did not recognize it. I didn't think it was a statue box, and it's been hiding in my garage um, for, I don't know, maybe a month. Because I thought it was a Christmas present box that I was told not to open. So like I said, I already pre-cut all the tape, but you guys are going to get my initial reaction of seeing the statue. I think you can take it out like this. Hold, please. Uh, all right, get the box out of the way. Foam on top. Now, just getting everything out of the way. I'm not sure if you're supposed to take it off. I guess let's do it like this. Oh, nope, 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 nope. That was the bottom. So let's flip them over. Turn them around because I saw the bottom of the piece, which means the foot is going to be facing us this way towards the camera. So let's back it up a little, open them up. Boom, there he is. Okay. Let's put this aside. Loud foam is out. So let's see if we can grab them. Uh, move the foam out and take him out of the bag. Holy cow, here we go. All right. Okay, and just like the uh, Jim Lee Batman video I have done before, he's a little low, so we will uh, tilt him up to see him. I've adjusted the camera so that you guys can get a good look at him. Let's do a quick turn around here. Ooh. Oh, he's a little wobbly. Let's bring him in closer. So that way I can see him. This what happens when you just have a tripod and doing it all by yourself. I love all the marks on the cape here. You can see him here. This cape is cool. Get this turnaround complete. Ooh, creaky. Mm. I think that's it. Okay. Let's uh, get two hands on him. Or one hand. Let's tilt him up a bit so we can look at him. Ooh, the paint is a little sloppier. I think this is the sloppiest paint I have. In my collection, um, here's his head. 
check this out. Let me see if I can zoom in and focus on there. Yeah, so he's got these lines on here that are not on the box on his forehead. I'm not sure if I like those. They're sculpted in the cowl, man. You don't need that stuff. Um, and then his bat signal down here is just kind of sloppily filled in. That's a bummer. But I like the design. I mean, they got the lines of the belt correct. And like the weird um, other lines, the gray over here to stand out, give it a little more comic booky feel. What number? See, he is 1329 of 5,000. Made in China. Don't go to war with China. These guys are increasing in price. These are like normally 90, 95 uh, dollars now. I got this guy. I pre-ordered him from DCBS, so he was probably 45 or 50 bucks. I can't remember exactly. And then I applied some Comixology credit. So there's the bottom. See that paint slop on the leg there? That's unfortunate. I'm kind of curious what color is actually the base color, like what these guys are actually cast in, you know? Is it the black? I would think it would be the black of the cape and then everything else is paint. And um, the way the gray is kind of the sloppy one would lead me to believe that. I do like this detail on this face though with the different shadows. That's very well done. Not a fan of that gray thing, but from far away, you know, you can see his face a little better. Here's what I'm talking about. These uh, pictures on the box, let's bring him up a little bit and then we'll put the box up here. So you can tell me what I'm talking about. These are supposed to be like the paint master. I have to move the camera back so you guys can see it. But see on his face, like they have a lot more of this weird kind of gray color on his face here. And then there's nothing. I mean, there's a little bit, I guess, there. All right, I take it back. But there's some over here, which is different. This particular artist decided just to do, make sure we're stable here, this weird kind of slop thing. Just dry brush the gray on here. And then we do not have the differentiation of, uh, do we? Hard to tell. We sort of have this differentiation of color, like the base black here and then the painted black on the head. And you have these like, the normally they're hatching uh, marks that are up here that are individually, they're painted on, on the box, paint master. Can't tell anymore. I'm not gonna move the uh, camera. Well, let's look at the statue. So, it's supposed to look exactly like the artwork per se. Um, so it is a bummer to see these guys kind of dip in quality. The gloves look really nice. His little gauntlets here, these look really nicely detailed. The sculpturing is cool. They look like very mechanized or robotic. Like, you know, if you really armored your gloves out, they would be big bulky suckers like these, not necessarily like uh, your w leather winter gloves. Oh, this is cool. Look at the bottom of his hand. Let's see, I'm trying not to break his uh cape here it's textured that's cool like rubberized like a gripping texture this big knee pad here paint under there that's cool the batman's crotch there um he's neat i like him i really like the design first of all when i saw the uh the box and the like the promo image of the first sculpt I was like, oh man, I gotta have that. That is a cool pose. It's just Batman kind of crouched, ready to leap into action. That is really, really cool. And he's also, he's a one-piecer. Like, he doesn't come off the, the, the base like some of the older ones. So I wonder if that's a new thing going forward that they're gonna just kind of mount these guys to the base. Although I don't know if it's super glue or if there's a rod in, you know, the knee and his front foot. Or I don't, I don't think there's a rod in the back foot over here, but... I could believe that there's, you know, something to mount here on the knee or here just to keep them attached. That would be nice. You know, if anybody breaks theirs, let me know. 
and we will see. So here's the side here. I like this detail on the glove, the little paint outline kind of thing that you would do. Um, and comic book coloring is really what they're really going for now, I guess, on this one, at least with Joe Mad, because, um, you know, because Batman's wearing a black costume, you need kind of like strikes of color to to show um, some different areas. One place where they did fail, check this out, this is apparent. So this here, you have the same hatch marks that you have on the top. Um, and it's hard to see if they got it or not. Um, it's hard to tell with this light. I just have a lamp and my overhead light on and I need a little bit more. Okay, we got the light on. Now we can tell they actually did hit it because you can see the differentiation of like a more gray cape and black here. So that's good to know. You need a bright light to see it though. Oh boy. Um, one thing we did move away from. Here's his face here. This looks a little better. We put enough light on it, Brent. It looks actually like the box, you dumbass. <laughs> so yeah, they, they did hit it. It's just very hard to see my dim light. Well, it's not dim, but dim to the camera. So apologies there. So they did they did do it. So you have like the actual black and then the blue, but um, is it, should, it, should it be backwards? Probably. So sometimes they do the cape overall as blue or gray and then hit spots of black as like a shadow or they'll do the overall cape as black and do spots of blue or gray as like the highlight. So it kind of depends. This particular Batman, I believe he had a black cape in the comics and they did like gray highlights for him, not blue. But, you know, I think the mouth, they did a really good job. It is a little sloppy, but you know, I don't think it's anything worth crying about. I don't know how you would get one that's actually better. You know, if they made 5,000 of these, I feel like they're gonna be, um, oh, there's a little chip here. It's unfortunate. I bet I did that when I moved them. Um, again, I get these to look at them. They're not gonna be resold or anything, at least in my lifetime. So, you know, am I nitpicking stuff? Sure, but that's what the video and all getting up close does. Uh, before I started doing videos, I looked at these once or twice up close and put them up on the shelf and then looked at them from afar. So I think from afar, he looks really, really cool. Um, and you're not going to notice all the... I mean, look at him there, now that it's in focus. You're not going to notice all the little imperfections, really, I think, even from three feet away. And he looks really badass. He is a little, like, see how easy he wobbles there? Um, that's, that's weird. I don't like that. So I think they could have shifted him back in the base a little bit more or maybe sculpted him standing up. I mean, the problem is your CG is really off. It should be in the center of the base, but it's really in the center of Batman's body mass. It's kind of like where my fingertip is if you move it through uh, the sculpture here and you'll learn that in <laughs> when you take physics classes and stuff. So it's a little bit forward, so that's why he's a little easier to tip. So I would not place this guy on like any edges or anything if you're gonna hit his hand and knock him over that way. I'm barely touching him here. Um, so, but yeah, that's it. I think this is a, uh, a cool statue. I'm satisfied for paying 50 bucks for it. I guess, you know, if you paid like 95, you could be a little more disappointed in the quality here. Um, but getting it on such a deep discount, I am, you know, for $40, I'm okay. Perfectly okay. I do like that these are made better of some of the other stuff that you get in like a video game collector's edition, stuff like that, but you know. We lost the glossy black that they used to have. They used to have like a glossy black paint they would apply to his gloves and stuff like that. We lost that, so maybe now we're doing more comic booky stuff. Anyway, this is the last Batman black and white statue I have on order. I did not um, pick up the Todd McFarlane one. I think that regular price was $110. That was a little pricey, I think. Uh, even though it is it is big, like it's, you know, I don't know what they said, like seven or nine inches tall. And it's it's all mostly cape though. And I wanna see the Batman. I, I'm, you know, the cape is cool, the drawing is cool, but for a statue, I gotta have more than just cape. That's just me. Um, and then the other one that I'm thinking about ordering is they did a uh, Dark Knight Returns one. 
so I'm with Frank Miller, and I think that just got solicited or is now available for order. So I'm gonna look and see what that discount is on that and then decide from there. But they're making these really, really cool and hard to say no to. Um, that's bad for my wallet and good for their business. This is a little weird. There should be a line here for his underwear. Oh well. Like I said, you'll never see it unless you do the turnaround for someone's video or whatever. You can't see it from here. So, anyway, yeah. So, let me know what you guys think. Uh, did you pick this up? Are you passing on it? Are you going to try and scope out to see if there's a, a better paint pick uh, in ones in your area? Let me know what you're doing down below in the comments. And thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Hit that like button, all that stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys in the funny pages.